Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Nauticon and why I feel like he should return. Now, Nauticon was of course last seen at the end of Skybound, hit with the Tiger Widow Venom and forced to go ahead and grant Jay's last wish, which was to reverse time essentially. Time was reversed and Skybound has a very controversial ending because of that. Lots of people don't really care for the fact that Nauticon was just kind of written out of the series in that regard. They didn't really defeat Nauticon as much as they kind of forced Nauticon Nauticon to wish himself away, similar to how he did with the ninja earlier in the season. As the episodes went on, Nauticon convinced more and more ninja to wish it all away as he absorbed their powers into the Jin Blade. As of this current moment in time on our live streams, we are reviewing Skybound episodes and we're almost at the finale. As of this moment in time, we are two episodes away, you know, as of the time of recording. I'm not sure when this video will be up, but Nauticon himself, I feel like should definitely return in some capacity in the future, and I feel like Ninjago has kind of been laying down the groundwork for this to potentially be true. I've talked about the clutch powers theory before on the channel as well, and in case you guys don't know what the clutch powers theory is, essentially in Prime Empire, clutch powers picked up the teapot of Tyron, which exploded onto him, and we didn't really see clutch powers since. Now one would assume that maybe clutch powers got absorbed into the teapot, and perhaps Nauticon got out. It's been made very clear by people that work on the show, such as Tommy Andreessen, that Nauticon is still very well aware of what happened at the end of Skybound, and he is, quote, not happy. So a good way to introduce Nauticon back into the series would be to have him take the place of Clutch Powers. We know that Nauticon can disguise himself and cloak himself as anybody, that's how he initially framed the ninja, so what you could do with that is make the Clutch Powers that we're about to see in Season 14 make him Nauticon. And who knows, maybe he could have been Nauticon all the way from the beginning of Prime Empire even. That could be crazy if they eventually do reveal that to be the case. And of course, with Nauticon being under the disguise of Clutch Powers, he could very well have organized a massive purchase of Vengestone from Shintar from the Skull Sorcerer, and Nauticon could very well be our Venge Stone buyer, eager to get his hands on the Venge Stone to take out his revenge on the ninja. Now, I've talked about this theory before, and several other people in the community have also talked about this, and I feel like this is a very good way to bring Nauticon back. Of course, not everybody likes this idea, but I still feel like Nauticon should return at some point. Out of all the villains in Ninjago, the Overlord, the Time Twins, I thought that Nauticon was always the most, I guess, eager to return, in order to extract his revenge on the ninja. At the end of Skybound, everything was going according to his plan. Jinja Jaga was recreated again, Nia was basically at his side, loyal to him, and he had infinite wishes. The ninja took that away from him. Of course, with the tiger wood of venom, it slowed him down, but that was not enough to kill Nauticon. That's been made very clear. And at this point in time, Nauticon really didn't need Nia alive anymore because he had his wish already. He had infinite wishes. So he was basically at the top of his game until the ninja forced him to rewind the clock, which I'd be upset too, honestly. In Nauticon's shoes, yeah, I would be pretty upset if that was the case. If I had everything that I had ever wanted, my goal was finally complete, and then the ninja took it all away just like that. Yeah, I would be pretty upset too. I'd be plotting my revenge, and once someone came around, found the teapot, and gave me a chance to escape, I would very well take advantage of that. Clutch Powers may have just awakened one of Ninjago's most dangerous villains, and we just didn't know it. I feel like if the island actually wants to go ahead and adopt this idea and actually make Nauticon the undercover villain of Season 14 and make him be the Vengestone buyer, maybe we'll see Clutch Powers do a couple of other things. Perhaps in the next season, Nauticon, as Clutch Powers, needs to explore the Uncharted Island to find a certain relic. Maybe he wants to steal the amulet for some reason. Maybe he's just trying to get his revenge on Jay and Ania specifically. All that remains to be seen, though. I do think it's a very good idea to bring Nauticon back, and there are ways to do it, like I just said. There are ways to go about uh, bringing Nauticon back into the story. Just whether or not Ninjaga will do that is up in the air at this point. Again, nothing was confirmed in this video. Just wanted to go ahead and give my two cents on that. And I feel like Nauticon is a villain that we need back at some point in time. Let me know down below in the comments which villain you would like to see return throughout Ninjago, and what did you think of the whole Nauticon is Clutch Powers theory? What do you think about that? I know it's been floating around the community for several months now. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description from other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.